although many were victims, the obsessive victimhood of the fascist rise was not the narrative they had brought into. Many also did not have the communal roots that were being built by the fascists. There were far fewer online communities, for example, and because they were not in the same cultish communities, most also didn't live lives that were fully defined by their anger in the same way that was occurring to the first victims of fascism, its followers. Although they were angry, at least part of the anger was rooted in their desire to hold on to what they valued in their lives, be it comfort or simply not feeling angry anymore. In other words, their anger was unsustainable. It could not exist forever. It was, it had an end date. The moment mass hysteria and the resulting cynicism become the mode of the day, all healthy political instincts, says Arendt, and the power to resist disappear. Arendt says, what is left is the loneliness of the politically impotent, the same who make possible the totalitarian mobilization.